Okay, here we go, guys. Cold start, 1990. Chevy truck. The motor is back in. All put together, all assembled like that. And it runs good, so we'll do a cold start. Uh, one thing about the timing, you guys got to remember, is the timing mark on a TBI injection motor needs to be set on zero. The computer will advance the timing by itself. Here we go. Door fixed. We got the new door pins in. Oh, we got new now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes it does that because uh, I haven't started it in like a month. Well, there she is. She's got good oil pressure. She's got good. Yeah, there it is. There's the oil pressure. And uh, she's running good. Now I did have to install another gauge because this factory gauge does not read a full 70 pounds. And I put a high volume pump in this thing so now when you're driving it, maybe we'll do a driving video, but when you're when you're driving it and it'll get up to a hundred pounds. So that's a Napa high volume pump for you. Yeah, now let's go out and look at the beautiful motor. Make sure the e brake's on when you have it neutral so it don't roll. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's running good, running smooth as you can see. Needs to. And later we'll be doing a, a fuel pump uh, installation because I have not done that yet. Fuel pump, you have to drop the tank, but it's not that bad on these things. So, there it is. Yeah. And if you could tell it idled down, which is what we want. Now, brand new Napa motor. 1990 Chevy truck. Now, uh, in the winter time when it's cold and it's a cold start, it's normal for new motors to smoke just a little bit. See that right there? just a little bit because it's got to get warmed up. Once the engine warms up then the, it totally goes away. Um, I know if you guys have older Chevys you're gonna have a Chevy situation is what I call it with the valve guides because they didn't they weren't smart like Ford and Dodge they didn't put the right valve guides in their motors so they're gonna smoke a little bit anyway you know um, when you fire them up but because this is new the smoke goes away after a few minutes. Uh, but yeah, this is a Napa motor. Yeah, it's uh, I built this motor, but it's got all Napa parts in it. Everything's Napa. I'm not one to go uh, buy the shit auto parts like O'Reilly's or AutoZone and all that other, all, all those other ass clown auto parts houses that don't sell good quality parts. I want good parts so everything's Napa. Napa's not paying me to advertise. I'm just showing you my personal preference. And uh, but yeah she uh, runs real well. Real good. See that's the part about putting the timing mark. You have to set that timing on zero and, and once you got it on zero you should be able to fire it up and then put the light on it and make sure it's on zero 
But before you do that, you have to disconnect the brown and tan wire up there on the firewall. But, I mean, you can look that up on YouTube. There are a lot of videos on that. But after you plug the computer back in, uh, the timing will advance to 12 degrees. The computer will do it for you. So that's what these TBI models were meant to set at. doesn't matter if it's 350, 454, or V6 like we got here. Set them all on zero. And the throttle body injection computer, well, the ECM, I guess, will... Uh, advance the timing for you. I, at first I didn't believe the guy you know at the mechanic shop because I've never done a TBI motor before. I've done TBI motors but I've always put carbs on them. Um, but yeah I put the light on it after I set it on zero and sure enough the camera I mean it sure I mean the computer sure enough uh, sets it at 12 so we're doing good, you know. It's running good, but here we go. I mean, it's 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 ready to go. And uh, I would I need to do a little cleaning, maybe a little interior clean. It's pretty dusty, but but uh, see. Okay, but yeah, this is what you got to do, people. You know, if you wanna if you wanna be like um, these other jackoffs. Um, on YouTube, like Uncle Tony's Garage, uh, you can just you can do it the inbred hillbilly way, and uh, pull the motor out and just uh, slap pistons back in it with new bearings and shit. But then it won't last very long. This is the end result of doing something right, taking it to a machine shop, having it bored out. And I'm going to pull the oil dipstick out and I'm going to show you. So as we show, I guess we'll shut it off first. But this is uh, the reason why you take stuff to a machine shop and have the stuff professionally bored out, professionally clean. I'll show you right here. We've got about, oh, 2,000 miles on this motor, braking process is done and you're gonna see a clean oil here, look at that very clean, you can barely see it on the stick, but there it is I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's, it's royal purple and it's clean after about 2000, well that's because I did change it, you know, about 400 miles ago, 500 miles I guess it was, but uh, that's because the break-in was done. I did about 1,500 mile break-in. Um, but it's done, so subscribe. I uh, appreciate it. I'm not getting monetized like every other cocksucker on YouTube because uh, you know, you know, for some reason they get to make twenty thousand buck off dollars every month, and uh, but I've noticed me and the other people that will show you how to do a motor right and show you how to do shit the right way, we don't get monetized or make a lot of money. But these other cocksuckers can show you how to do shit wrong and get twenty thousand fucking dollars a month. So we're, we're going to do some more of those uh, other videos about showing people how much these cocksuckers make. That'll be another video though. But anyway, that's the end of this one. Bye.